It's beautiful. A very easy hike. The only reason we're out of breath is because we're at elevation, but otherwise it's not strenuous. If you look back this way, you'll see these like snow capped mountains. Yeah, I think they're 14ers actually. And honestly, it's just a beautiful view the entire way. Good morning. So it is the next day now and Melissa and I are getting ready to go on a hike. Actually the hike literally just starts from outside of our hotel. So we're just gonna walk out of the hotel, get on the trail across the little river creek here and get on our hike. But we are now preparing peanut butter, well not peanut butter, but this nutso butter, I guess it's a mixed nut and seed butter and strawberry jam sandwiches on gluten-free bread, the Udi's gluten-free bread. We bought all this stuff from, from Costco, that's why it's like huge. So we have a bunch of gluten-free bread and we're gonna make some sandwiches to take with us and also eat here before we head out. Beautiful place that we are in and we're excited to get out there and explore nature. here at Bear Creek Trailhead, one of the three most popular hikes in Telluride. It was just like steps away from our hotel. It's supposed to be about a three hour round trip hike, which is great. We're starting at 10 a.m. We should be done by one, which is perfect because we'll get back and then Al and I will be able to do some work until evening time. So let's go. And we're breathing a little bit heavy because it's like 8,500 feet in elevation. And I think we gain about a thousand up on this trail. So yeah, it should be a nice, easy one. Yeah, I'll be shedding this jacket very soon. <laughs> The temperature said it was like 46 or 47, something like that, but it doesn't feel that cold. It feels really nice, actually. We have this light jacket on, um, like Melissa said, probably here in like a few minutes, we'll probably just shed it. And this looks, you could take a four wheel drive up here if you really wanted to. So Alan mentioned that we have on light jackets. So this is a Uniqlo jacket. It's a down jacket, so it keeps you super warm, but it's very lightweight, folds down very compactly. I highly recommend it. It doesn't come in the best colors, to be honest, <coughs> but it's an affordable down jacket. Yeah. yeah, down jacket that actually comes highly recommended on a lot of different sites. And I've also, if you live in Houston, I've seen them sell it in like these vending machines. Yeah. In like Terminal E. Terminal E. Yeah. I think it's across from like Ruby's Diner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you are in the airport, you just happen to see it, check it out. Alan's wearing this Patagonia jacket, which is also a good option. He brings it everywhere. Yeah, I bring it everywhere. Just, it folds down. Like you can crumple it up into yeah. a ball and just like stuff it anywhere. It's um, nice. So anyway, if you're interested in either of these two jackets, we'll link it in the description below and just as we expected yeah, we we didn't even make it like two feet <laughs> <laughs> no like we didn't even make it two minutes from the trailhead and we already had to shed our jackets because it's really not that cold even though the weather says but guys look at this view from over here so this is the town of Telly right down there. So we just hiked up a little bit. Mountains up there and then down there I don't know if you can see there's like a little town park. So yeah pretty um, cool so I know yesterday I said that we saw a sign saying 44% of the houses are less than $500,000. And I was like, oh, that's not bad. Um, I actually looked for real estate last night and I didn't see any houses less than $500,000. Like if it was less than 500, it was like a condo situation. But even the hotel we're staying in, I guess it's privately owned, that unit, it's on the market for $895,000. It's only a one bedroom, two bath condo, 900,000. Granted, it's in a really great location, like steps from the gondola entrance and across from the grocery store, but that sign lied. Definitely not <laughs> worth the 900 grand. <laughs> I was telling Melissa this trail, quote unquote trail, definitely looks like it was actually a road, a you know, a mountain road, four by four road. I think if we had taken our Volvo up here, I think we were, could have made it. Actually, I'm pretty confident we can make it because it's not really that steep. It's also not super rocky or anything like that. Unfortunately, the gate's closed, so yeah, this just becomes a, a hiking trail. A little over 
we're a mile and a quarter in, we've reached this clearing and look at this view. Listen, what do you think? It's beautiful. It's not that hard of a height. I think it's only a little strenuous because we're at elevation. Otherwise, we wouldn't have any problem. Not sure what happened here, but look at all the fallen trees. It must have been like a big windstorm or something. Avalanche, maybe? I don't know. It's so pretty. Up here, the wildflowers, and by wildflowers, I just mean these yellow flowers, <laughs> have bloomed. But at the top of the Bear Creek Trail is this waterfall. So this is pretty much the end. Pretty much this is the end of the trail. We did it in an hour. So yeah, not bad. Really pretty hike, not strenuous at all. Um, other than kind of have to acclimate to the altitude a little bit. Breathing a little heavy, but not just a steady incline all the way up. Not nothing hard at all. But yeah, we're gonna go check out the waterfall. Kind of hang out here for a little bit. It's really pretty up here. All right, so if you look down there, there's this big rock. Uh, that's kind of your focal point when you get up to the top of the clearing of the trail. But now you have to come up to the, the right of that big rock. There's another little trail that goes up all the way to the waterfall that's directly behind Melissa. But I mean, check out this view. This is why we've come to tell you right. Really, really nice. All right, let's keep going. So what are your impressions of this hike, this Beaver Creek Trail? No, no, no. It's Bear Creek Trail. Oh, Bear Creek Trail. <laughs> My bad. It's beautiful. A very easy hike. The only reason we're out of breath is because we're at elevation, but otherwise it's not strenuous. There is elevation gain, but... Yeah, it's about a thousand. Well, my watch said 925 yeah. feet elevation gain. Not it wasn't, too bad. It's not bad at all. If you look back this way, you'll see these like snow capped mountains. Yeah, I think they're 14ers actually. Some of these peaks are 14ers. And honestly, it's just a beautiful view the entire way. Elevation gain isn't a bad good thing is the higher up you get, the more of a view you get, mm -hmm. which was not the case with Marine Bells. It was completely flat. But this so this beaver, what's it called? No, Bear, Bear Creek. Creek. Bear Creek Trail is on right side of the town if you're looking like towards um, the mountains of Telluride. I think there's another trail that we'll probably do tomorrow that's on like the left side of the town of Telluride. Beautiful hike today. And now we're on our way back down and we're gonna go grab some lunch. Melissa wants a smoothie though. Ah, uh, yeah, smoothie sounds good. Okay, right, ready? <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. We're on the hunt for this swing that overlooks the town of Telluride. There's not really a real trail. It's like up there that somewhere over there. A blog said, at the top of North Maple Street, you'll see a small trail heading up the ridge to the right of a house. So we parked down there. That's where we were a few minutes ago. We walked around up to this kind of dead end road. Dead end over there. I'm actually thinking it's like up this way somewhere. Yeah. It's this, right there. Where? Right here. How do you get there? Oh, there's a little trail. Ah, perfect. You come to this dead end road and then you just go up the side of the hill over there and it's up there on that tree. 
I'm hoping this is the way you go up there, you go around. It's almost to the top, it kind of gets a little squirrely up here, but that's the swing up there. The good news is we got here. The bad news, it's gonna suck coming down because there really is no path. And, or the path is like... Very tricky. It's just straight up dirt. Anyway, so yeah, here's the swing. Yeah, so that's the town of Telluride down below. You can find this location on Google Maps. So just look up Tree Swing when you're in Telluride and you can figure out how to get here. But apparently down there, you get to the top of Maple Road, Maple Road and there's a little parking set area for two hour parking. You can park there for free. And then you go left around and go up around the, the new road that's that uh, you can see from down below. Just go around there and then from there you head to the end of the road. That's where the little, little tiny like single track trail starts. It's pretty dirt. It could be really muddy if it's rainy. So yeah, definitely wear the right shoes. It's, it's an actual hike with some loose gravel and loose rocks and stuff. So yeah, but it's worth it though. This view is amazing up here. And so it's about yeah, 7.15. Sunset is around 8.45 or so. So yeah, we're kind of in that golden hour, almost that golden hour section. And yeah, we're just gonna take some photos and yeah, kind of just hang out here for a little bit. <laughs> Whoa! Good job, honey. The spray from the waterfall is pretty intense. Yeah, you get pretty wet if you stand up here for more than a minute or so. But it's really beautiful up here. The sun is a little too high in the sky right now because everything is kind of a little bit washed out. But it's okay. We actually might come up here maybe later uh, because if a bunch of cars can come up here, we might just come up to this point uh, for sunset or something. <laughs> 